Hi again and welcome to New England Classic Car. Spring's here, we're very, very busy. We got some projects we gotta get out of here. This one, unfortunately, we're not gonna get a chance to complete. It is a rolling shell, but it does have an engine and tranny, but it is not running. I, I don't know what you wanna call it, tea bucket, uh, hot rod, uh, rat rod, whatever, it could be really sweet. It's a S10 pickup truck frame that's been boxed, uh, lengthened, uh, in, it, there's $3,400 into the framework alone. It has a four-link suspension in the back. It has a posi rear end in the back. It is airbag, front and rear. The airbag system works. Not all the controls are here. Uh, we don't have a compressor. What we do is we just put air up to the line and we get it to go up and down so we can see that the airbag system works. We have a chrome, a new chrome air tank in the front. We were going to use it as the water tank. I have a smaller airbag tank uh, for the air system we were going to put in the back. 350 Chevy engine, two-speed power glide, disc brakes, new motor mounts, mild cam in the engine, no intake, no carburetor. What you see is what you get. I do have a few miscellaneous parts. I have fenders for the back of this project. Uh, I do have uh, a brand new aluminum hand-spun seven-gallon gas tank, uh, like the old rat rats they sit up on the back. It's brand new, still in the box, beautiful, goes with the car. Um, I don't know what the seats are out of. They're, they're, they're good usable shape. Um, the rims and tires are brand new. It was $1,200 of rims and tires here. Uh, tires have been no place except right here on the ground. Then I had my pinstriper come and paint the chrome trim rings, do the red around them, and put the V8 on the hubcap. Uh, it, it's, a good, it's a good project. A lot of work still needs to be done. Um, I, I don't know what else to, uh, to say about it except... Uh, uh, don't get it over your head. This is this is not a uh, this is, isn't something you're going to have done in a week or two and be all driving down the road. I do have the rear fenders, fiberglass body, fiberglass rear fenders. Uh, like I said, I, I do have a custom made hand steering wheel that goes with the car. Um, take a look at it. Let me know what you think. Any questions? Call me. I, I don't want anybody unhappy. You know, getting something that they they, they can't complete because this is a project. This is this is a there's a lot of work here. Look at it, let me know what you think, get back to me. Have a good day. Uh, a couple things I just wanted to show you real quick is uh, I want to show you uh, the airbag system. I just put an airline on right now until it gets all plumbed in, but uh, watch the front. Here we go, front. Oop, excuse me, backs first. Back bags come up nice. Um, and we'll go to the fronts. And the front bags come up nice. And, uh, that alone right there is uh, worth, the pr uh, worth the price of admission. Um, let me know what you think. Again, still needs a lot of work, but uh, a great project. This could be really, really, really cool down the road. Thank you. See you later. Uh, another, just another quick thing. This is the uh, hand-spun aluminum seven-gallon tank that comes with it that would be mounted right there. You build a small box on the back out of something, but uh, this is the seven-gallon tank, uh, brand new, in a box. Uh, it also goes with the car. Uh, thank you. Bye. Um, just a, a final note, uh, this is the air tank uh, for, the, uh, for the hot rod. This is uh, also an air tank. They had, uh, I was told that the chrome ones, uh, they're not as good for air, uh, the welds aren't as good, so this was going to go in the front and use as a water tank. This is the small ones they say work even better. This is made in USA, this is made in China, uh, but this one here is uh, for the air suspension uh, with mount in the back up underneath. Um, someone spent hours upon hours upon hours making this steering wheel. It's all steel, it's all hand fabricated, done in the USA, uh, just a beautiful piece. And with that is a quick release, brand new steering column. It's got the pin on the top, uh, it runs down to the steering box. It's uh, chrome uh, and uh, black, I do believe. Uh, brand new, everything's in here, directions, um, which is about $350 right here. Um, I do not have an intake for the car, but we did buy some other parts, and there's the uh, piece run under the carburetor to lift the carburetor up, give it a better look. And of course, the hands, the hand spun uh, seven gallon tank, everybody's already seen that. Uh, um, fenders, they're upstairs. We all know what fiberglass fenders look like for the back of these, I hope by now. Uh, again, let me know what you think. Talk to you all later. Bye bye.